What's up guys, I'm back like in every life in this video, we are going to be talking about stocks that billionaires are loading up on. We're going to go over exactly why they're buying it. What is the ideal price point to get involved in these companies? I'm also going to go over what is going on with the overall stock market. Are we going to have a stock market crash coming up pretty soon? And we're also going to go over exactly you know, what are some important economic reports that we're going to be watching out for tomorrow. So all this important information coming up. Now, before we get into the video, I appreciate if you hit the like button. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. And shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel and turn on notification. And if you want free Bitcoin and free stocks, check out the links in the description box below. So as you can see over here, we have the overall stock market that actually went down to the downside. We had a very nasty sell off on Friday. Now we're having a continuation as we go on to Monday and the main stocks that are leading the way are the semiconductors and big companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Tesla just got crushed today down 8.5%. You know, this company was trading above $800 a few weeks ago. Now it's sitting at $714. However, we still have some sectors. The energy sectors perform very well. Recovery stocks, you know, travel stocks that we talked about in the past, they're doing pretty well. Bank stocks also, they're doing very very well so this is just an indication that the leading sector as we move into 2021 are still going to be the energy and financial so these sectors are really hot and unfortunately the tech stocks are not doing pretty well even after they announced their earnings reports they're not significantly moving to the upside you know i'm going to cover and talk about in detail in another video talking about exactly what to expect moving forward for these high value high valuation companies moving forward in 2021. So now let's talk about exactly the top stocks billionaires are loading up in 2021. Now, before I go and talk about exactly the stocks that billionaires are loading up, just a quick update. The overall Bitcoin sector stocks, you know, companies like Mara, Riot, they're actually getting destroyed today, unfortunately, because Bitcoin went to the downside. It has a significant pullback to the downside. That's expected. But however, this is one of the companies that are going to be launching another another crypto pretty soon in February 24th. So we talked about why this company has potential to go because there is another catalyst that is going to be coming up pretty soon. That's why you're seeing it today. It's up 17.55%. The main catalyst, of course, for this company, why it's individually performing very well besides all the crypto stocks being crushed today because Bitcoin pulled back to the downside. We have Mara, Riot, and all the other Bitcoin stocks are getting crushed. But this company, as I covered on the penny stock, crypto penny stock video, they have their own crypto they're going to be launching up in February 24. So that was the main catalyst that we've been playing, you know. So that's why I made an individual video about this company. As you can see, it's up 17.55%. But let's go over and talk about the top stock that billionaires are loading up in 2021. So the first billionaire that we're going to be talking about is going to be Bill Gates. You know, so Bill Gates have been starting aggressively buying in West Management. This is a company that is basically involved, as the name says it, in West Management. So this stock has been trending to the downside a little bit. It's been going to the downside. So it's having a very nice pullback. The support area you can definitely look at is going to be around $106. So it's actually a very good entry price point if you believe in this company, if you want to get involved and if you want to follow the footsteps of Bill Gates. You know, that is really fantastic price. It pays a dividend of 2.18. And so that's really great. And it has more room to go if it can recover or it could potentially just stagnate around right around over here at $100.80. So this is a very long term play if you want to get involved in it. I know Bill Gates has been on the news lately because they sell, you know, Apple, Alibaba and etc. And they're transitioning the, some of their funds to these kind of companies that I'm going to be talking about. So another company that Bill Gates actually got involved is going to be Caterpillar. So this is also another company that pays dividend paying stocks. The stock's been performing very well. So the massive dip that we saw over here is going to be around $48. And after that, the stock just basically was on a tear. And this is due to the earnings reports. Unfortunately, it's been selling off to the downside. And we have a slight pullback to the downside right around over here in 2020. But the stock has been just going up to the upside nonstop. The 52 week high for this company is $218. It's been breaking out in spite of the news that came out that Bill Gates is, of course, you know, loading up on this company. And we're going to see great potential for this company for the long term, of course, because they get involved in it to buy and hold for a very long time. So that's really great. Even if you hold it, they pay a dividend of 4.12. So that's really fantastic. 
The last company that we're going to be talking about is going to be Berkshire Hathaway. So Bill Gates is involved in this specific company. He's been buying into it, selling out of Apple and Alibaba. And this is pretty huge. So now let's talk about another billionaire that is loading the boat on these three strong buy companies. So the first company that we're going to be talking about is going to be BAX. Now, this is a company that is involved in the medical sector. As you can see, this stock has been aggressively selling off to the downside, it's pulling back. So that's relatively in a good position to buy in it because it's been in a downtrend for a while. So as you can see right here, it's been trending and trending and it seems like it has support at $74 and it's a great point to get involved in it if you want to risk off of the $74 area, then you can get involved in it and also it pays a dividend. So that is really fantastic. If you want to get involved in it, the revenue of this company is around $11 billion and Ray Dalio is getting aggressively involved in this specific company. So another company that Ray Dalio is involved in is going to be CVS. Now this company is also one that you need to be watching out for. Once this huge, you know, COVID-19 vaccine starts to get distributed across the states and available to multiple and thousands of people, I think we can get, you know, COVID vaccines and CVS and etc. So keep an eye on it. Of course, the government is going to be paying up for all the COVID vaccines. So these companies can be a distribution area. It can get a cut from the government for distributing COVID vaccines. You know, so this is also a company to watch out for. So CVS is also a dividend paying stock. So definitely keep an eye on it. This is also a very good time to get involved in it because it's approaching support area around $67 and it's a really solid price point to get involved in it. And the last stock that Ray Dalio is getting involved is going to be DAR. Now this company is also having a solid, solid 2021. As you can see over here, we started 2020 at around $56. It hit a high of $72. Right now we're sitting at $67. So this is also, fortunately it's not a dividend paying stock, but it has a strong buy ratings, you know, so the overall stocks that we talked about for Ray Dalio, they have a very solid, strong buy recommendations from different analysts. You know, let's go over exactly what to expect if you decide to get involved in it. Analysts are expecting a very solid move for these companies. For the first stock, which is BAX, you know, this is going to be a company that could potentially be hitting a price point of approximately $95. So that is their first price target. And the second price target for CVS is they expect this stock to reach $83. Now the last stock that we're going to be talking about is going to be DAR. Now this is a company that is expected to reach $58, you know, so definitely keep an eye on these specific company. And if you want to get involved in it, they're solid, solid companies. This is definitely going to be for the long term, but we're going to go over and talk about exactly what are some important economic reports we need to be watching out for tomorrow. So for tomorrow, we have we have Jerome Powell speaking at 10 a.m. We also have at 10 a.m. our Consumer Confidence Index. At 9 a.m. we have the FHFA Home Price Index. So that's going to be important. Definitely be on the lookout for that. You never know what could potentially, what the Fed can say can help the market to recover because we've been having an aggressive sell to the downside. So definitely be on the lookout for this important report tomorrow. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure to drop in the comment section below. And if you want free stocks, free free coin, check out the description box, but I catch you guys on another video. Let's get it for tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.